Hello, I'm David Jarvanen and this is Mosaic Arts Online. In this course I'll be teaching how to create a foam substrate that is known as bas-relief. The definition of bas-relief is a type of art in which shapes are cut from the surrounding surface so that they stand out slightly against the flat surface. This versatile process allows you to create different shapes, images, and levels of dimension. I will start with showing you how to attach the foam base to a piece of MDF wood that will stabilize this project. Next, I will introduce the type of foam I prefer to use. It is lightweight and easy to cut. Once you have chosen your design, I will demonstrate how to transfer it to the foam. Next, I will cut the foam shapes separately that they will then be attached to the bottom layer, giving the bow relief visual as it stands out from the flat surface. Then I will show you how to attach the cut out foam pieces to the base using a simple caulking gun and galvanized nails. It is important to prep the foam surface before adding the cementious material I use to cover the entire piece. Using gloves, you will add a layer of the mortar mixed with an additive to coat the foam. This is a very specific technique, but if you follow my method, you will have success each time. As the mortar begins to cure, I will show you how to create a detailed and smooth surface. Once the mortar has cured for 24 hours, it is now ready to be mosaiced. I have included PDF of suggested tools, materials, and resources. Now it's time to get inspired to create your bow relief mosaic. David, thank you so much for coming to Mosaic Arts Online. You have such an incredible variety of courses here, and this is just another amazing one to add to your library. Yeah. Thank you. Yep, I appreciate being back here. This foam bow relief is a lot of fun. Yes, it is. And just a quick clause at the beginning here, you know, we do not, David does not teach how to make a mosaic on the bas relief yeah. in this course. This is an example of what you can do, but you will learn how to make this fish as one example, or you can have uh, others examples that you're going to add yeah. to the course in the PDFs, correct? Yeah. Yes. So yes. tell me about how it got started. What made you sort of pull this all together? Because it's a really amazing technique. Um, simplifying things. Really? Yeah. I like to deconstruct things and break them down the techniques and then bring back and just leave on the table what you don't need. And that's basically how this arrived from carving foam to wanting flat pieces with dimension, things like that. Of course, you can do it with weedy boards and things like that, but this is much more cost effective. Yes. And uh, easy to do, simple materials. It's awesome. And then you can just... You can build a big panel, little panel. You can do whatever you like. Yeah, you can do so many different levels yeah. and size. Yeah. And talk about the different designs because you have three different designs even here. Yeah, so this is a sunflower. Um, and then you introduce your back leaves and the background. So you think in like two or three levels, maybe even four with the use of your materials again. And then the fish, um, they're overlap. Now you could just do one fish and then do the other one in the background to give even more depth that way. And then this is a finished example of the aloe. And you can definitely see the depth and stuff that's created in a finished piece. So, um, yeah, that's about it. And the materials are pretty limited. We don't have a picture of the bag. of It's a specific kind of grout. Can you talk a little bit about what you use as your cementitious? Um, yeah, so I got away from mortars, so to speak, because they had big grains of sand in them mm -hmm. and stuff. And resorted to types of grout to use. And you can't just use any grout. Um, but it gives a nice, smooth surface. It's awesome. It's very strong. It's yes. amazing how strong it is once once you do the additive and that thing. So. Yes. So with the specific materials that David offers uh, in this course and doing his method, I guarantee you success every time. And I love that there's so many different options and ways you can go yeah. with this. Yeah. It's really up to you, what you see, visioning layers. And that's really all it's about. If you can envision a layer, you can go for it. And it's on a piece of wood, so then it can hang on a wall. Yep, yep. And bigger pieces would require a bigger substrate. You'd mm -hmm. have to think those things out. Um, but other than that, it's all the same process. Wow. Well, thank you so much for bringing this to Mosaic Arts Online. I know our community is going to love it, and we look forward to seeing what you create. Awesome. Thank you, Tammy. Yes.